Just think. If the dollar drops it come for you, do you know what you were gonna do when normal can't compete? The brink. Though we've stood here for two generations, you assume you'll be spared if you lift us now. We can catch you when you've fallen out of the good graces of the faceless who maintain this heinous pace towards annihilation. We've been patient, but it's time we have to organize. Hi, it's Pepper Coyote. I'm wearing this hat because I'm going bald at 29. Shout out to all the millennials out there. Hey! I'm sitting in a weird place in relation to the camera and like positioning myself in a, a different way today because I am reviewing microphones, reviewing, comparing. I'm comparing microphones. I see videos all over the internet that are, are pretty darn unhelpful when it comes to like, how does this microphone sound compared to this microphone? And then you add in the, the 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 fact that everyone is going to be listening to this video on different kind of audio hardware. You could be playing this out at the back of your phone. You could be listening to it on a, like a multi-thousand dollar sound system. So I'm going to do my best to create some, obje I don't know, one-to-one -one comparisons where possible. We have the Shure SM7B, which is the slightly larger friend over there comes in a box looks like this. We have the M M V7. The M V7 by Sure, which comes in a box that looks like this. Have you noticed? Have you noticed they're like the same aesthetic aesthetically they're they're the same shape. The SM7B, the 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 bigger, the more expensive of these two mics has been around for years and years, decades in fact. For a while it was kind of a little known secret microphone of, "Oh, this is not horribly expensive compared to other ridiculous industry standard microphones." Did you know? Did you know that the SM7B is the very microphone they used to record? <laughs> Where is it? It says it on here somewhere. Does it not say anywhere on this box that it recorded Thriller? Did I make that up? Is that one of those... Oh, it's the alternate timeline, Berenstein Bears, uh, Mandela effect? Is this a Mandela effect? Did I think this said right on the box that they did Thriller on this? No, it doesn't. But, come on! The SM7B is three hundred and ninety-nine dollars I th That's like what it cost when I bought it. I think the price is the same. Uh, but the the that's not the total cost. You'll see I have this cloud box, this cloud lifter box. That is essentially needed to make this mic. It has a very high resistance mic in without the cloud lifter. It will be extremely quiet, and you'll have to crank your gain to basically 100% to get anything out of it. So you have a $400 microphone. You have a, a cloud lifter that costs the number I put on screen because I didn't check before I did this. And then you have, you have to have some some kind of input for your XLR cables. This is not a USB microphone. Very few microphones are USB. So you need an input box. That's at least another $150 to $200. So really your $400 microphone costs closer to like somewhere around $800 depending on what specific gear you get. Now the MV7 is $250, which is not it is less than 400. I wish they would have gone right at 200. Like, boom, half. This is half the price. And you, that would be great to say. But um, it's meant to look like the thing. And it also has direct USB. I am not plugging in USB right now, but we'll get there in a second. Let's, let me go over my test rationale here. How the, This is my, my method. Yes, this desk is from Ikea. I built it myself. So not only does this test give me a reason to use this kind of strange microphone stand that I have. You see it like joins in the middle here. I'm going to do my absolute best to speak evenly and or sing evenly into both microphones at the same time. The SM7B over here and the MV7 over here are both currently hooked up via XLR to the same input device 
that are set to the same gain levels. I can already see, like on my screen over here, I'm recording my audio separately from my, my video recording. <laughs> I'm recording directly into Logic. You can see that the waveform, you can tell the, the SM7B is already, it's much louder. You get much more response out of it at the same gain level as this one, but that is what that cloud box does, so it's kind of cheating. It's like, wow, the 7B looks louder. Good thing I bought a piece of equipment specifically to make it louder. <laughs> I'm gonna sing a part of a song directly into both mics. I will play you the clean audio with no effects, then I will shine it up, show you what that sounds like, back to back, and then I'll play it like with the full song in there, and, and you can judge for yourself which sounds better, or at the very least, what we're really going for is, is this much cheaper microphone good enough to justify buying it? Because it's about the same price as the, the Yeti Pro, which I also, ha I will not be testing the Yeti Pro, this is not my channel now, I'm not becoming... A, a an audio tech review channel that is not my destiny. You might think. <laughs> I mean, yes, the company says this microphone is quality, but I figured I would do a test just to be sure. <laughs> now I'm gonna take these raw tracks. Uh, shine. I already know how my, like, I, I have basically presets for the 7B because I've been using it for so long, so I'm just sticking my normal one on there, and then I'm gonna, I'll fiddle around with the MV7, see what I can get out of that, play you all the examples back to back, and we'll call it a day. Let's get to singing. Just think, if the dollar drops it come for you, do you know what you were gonna do when normal can't compete? The brink. Though we've stood here for two generations, you assume you'll be spared if you lift us now. We can catch you when you've fallen out. Just think. If the dollar drops a come for you, do you know what you were gonna do when normal can't compete? The brink. Though we've stood here for two generations, you assume you'll be spared if you lift us now. We can catch you when you've fallen out of the good graces of the faceless who maintain this heinous pace towards annihilation. We've been patient, but it's time of the faceless who maintain this heinous pace towards annihilation. We've been patient, but it's time we have to organize. Just think, if the dollar drops it come for you, do you know what you were gonna do when normal can't compete? The brink. Though we've stood here for two generations, you assume you'll be spared if you lift us now. We can catch you when you've fallen out of the good graces of the faceless who maintain this heinous pace towards annihilation. We've been patient, but it's time we have to organize. If the dollar drops a come for you, do you know what you were gonna do when normal can't compete? The brink. Though we stood here for two generations, you assume you'll be spared if you lift us now. We can catch you when you've fallen out of the good graces of the faceless who maintain this pain us pace towards annihilation we've been patient but it's time we have to organize just think if the dollar drops will come for you 
do you know what you are gonna do when normal can't compete? The brink. Though we've stood here for two generations, you assume you'll be spared if you lift us now. We can catch you when you've fallen out of the races of the faceless who maintain this pain us face towards annihilation. We've been patient, but it's time. We have to organize. <laughs> oh man, I am so good at singing the <laughs> So I got out our one of our cables here. The <clears throat> this mic, the uh, the MV7 actually comes with two USB cords, two USB cables, one with a USB C end, which is the one I will be using because I assume it will have if it's gonna have the best transfer speeds, you is the one that's gonna be better. I'm assuming they work the same, but the end that actually plugs into the mic is this is what USB micro mini. It's whatever the PlayStation 4 controllers use. That's what I know this as. It's the one that use the I think the Samsung Galaxy 6 uses. The one after the one that blew up. This cable is nice and long. Like this is absolutely a selling point. Three, this is like three of my arm length. This is this is like I think it's a ten foot cable if I had to guess. Definitely a plus because I've def I've I've received technology that is meant to be used not right next to a computer and they give you a cable that's two feet long. So this is good. This is nice. <laughs> a plus. <laughs> All right, let's plug this thing in. Let's see. Are we doing it? I got, there's supposed to be a bunch of LEDs on this thing. Give, give, give me your secrets. Is this not Thunderbolt compatible? Will this not, will this not work? Yeah, it says, well, it says made for iPhone. Made for iPhone, iPad. Oh, this is some nonsense. I'm Googling this up. Does this work? Fun news, my lovelies. You can, <clears throat> you cannot use the out-of-the-box USB-C cable if you happen to use an iMac. You got to use the regular USB. Hooray! Things that may help you make a, dis a purchasing decision. You know, I freaking left this thing in its bag, so I'm like, oh, I'll come back to it later. I'll have a nice, fresh USB cable that I can use at a later time. But I have to use an Apple. Might as well take a freaking Granny Smith Apple, crack it in half, and mash it against my head. Hello? Do you use iMessage? What an S load of F. <laughs> okay, is it is it working? Let's Okay, okay, is it is it is it working? Check, check, check. I think I have Yeah, right? Nice! We did it! We we got the USB working. Good job, America. So what I didn't realize about the monitoring the the monitor system here when i plug in the beep it doesn't just give me my voice it gives me the rest of the program it's a true monitor i can hear the rest of the track i can hear my backing track in my headphones which is plugged directly into a microphone so i know this is mm, common it, it's it feels strange to me to be like oh headphones into microphone into computer monitor into microphone through headphones <laughs> like, it just like I understand it, it just it feels weird to me. Since this is a USB microphone, it has a bunch of stuff that I don't like on microphones. Namely, LEDs. It has a bunch of LEDs. It has a touch panel at the top, all things that can break later. But hey, wait, this is a new century, grandpa, and we're taking over. Da 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 check 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 cha cha check. Even quieter, that's right. Ba 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 da da blah 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 we're louder now. Here, I'm gonna mute the mic maybe. Let's try it. Whoa! Okay, we're back. We're back from the muted microphone. Well, all right, we're direct USB. I see my amplitude waves are already higher, like I'm getting a stronger signal. But also, I now have my gain control, so that's kind of... Yeah. Last feature that this has that I do want to mention, there is a like a regular size headphone jack on the back. I'll plug it in right now. Let's see how it goes. Do 
Check, check, check. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. So I can like, do, 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 how much do I hear myself, baby? <laughs> These lights are cool. And yes, the monitor does work. It's kind of a great idea, actually, because imagine you're in a room with like five of these, five people all have these, you know, all plug in your own headphones to the thing, somehow you have five USB inputs to your computer and it can handle all that. Oh, I'm cursing, I'm not supposed to curse in this video, I'll censor it out, don't worry. The other thing included with this that I will not be touching at all today is software. There's a whole bunch of stuff you can get sure, like there's a whole sure software suite for this where you can get voice isolation and auto leveling and like everything Discord does to your voice. Uh, custom sound signatures, like uh, basically effects packages. They have different presets of EQ and and compression and such that uh, are included in software that you get for free if you own the microphone because it only works with the microphone anyway. It unlocks the potential of the mic, but it doesn't happen in the mic. It happens in the software, I assume. And I can say with at least some authority now that the M. The MV7, I want to call it the M7B. The MV7 sounds exactly the same, XLR or USB. If there is a difference, it is definitely not significant enough to jump out at me. Disclaimer on my opinions. If you are using this video like as a buying guide, you should know, first of all, that not everyone's voice sounds great into every microphone, and not every microphone is great at picking up all particular voices. If your voice sounds a lot like mine, hey, maybe this will be uh, useful data for you. But if your voice sounds nothing like mine, it's really hard to know until you've just had an opportunity to record into a microphone for a while. That being said, I have not had a lot of time with this microphone. These are basically my initial opinions. The more valuable thing you can do is listen to the samples yourself and decide what you like. Here's what I think. Listening to the clean tracks of me singing, uh, the 7B has more crispness in the high end to me, or this almost has a muffledish sound to it, you should know that the SM7B has two switches in the back, and uh, I have it set to flat high response, but I'm rolling off the low end, so I'm taking off some of the bassier elements of my voice. To counteract how muddy I usually sound, this makes me sound that same muddy, ooh, I, if I had to choose one to, to run with zero effects, uh, the 7B, but, I mean, come on. Like, one is intended to be a, a studio standard microphone, and one is intended to be a cheap alternative to a studio standard microphone. So not shocked there. Check, check, check. Test, test, test. Test one, two, check, one, two, three. This is a neutral test. This test abstained from their opinion. Check, check, check. Test, test, test. Test one, two, check, one, two. This is a neutral speaking test. This test abstained from providing an opinion. It is neutral. Check, check, test, test. Woo! Bazing! Hey, if you like the song that you've been listening to while I mess around with this, it is called Last Summer of Innocence. It's on Spotify. It's, a, it's from a movie that is on YouTube for free, and you can watch right now. You're bored. Do it. Uh, I have a lot of CDs and various other materials you can consume if somehow this is the first time you've heard of me and you are watching my channel. Yeah. Did the algorithm suggest me? Well, again, this is a first impression, not really a comprehensive review. Listen to the samples and kind of make your own decisions here. But it, it seems that the this it sounds pretty effing good. This sounds pretty good for, for what it's trying to do, be a much cheaper version of the SM7B. If you're trying to do a podcast and you are in a situation where it's difficult to have a, a, a soundproofed room or a room that doesn't echo and you need close miking, you want to be speaking into a microphone for something like a podcast or if you just want to be, uh, if you want to sing but not hear your room echoing around you, this seems like a pretty good choice. The only thing left to see is how long it lasts. I've had my 7B for a, almost 10 years at this point, I think, if not 10 years, and it's held up very well. It is made of metal, which I love, the all like all metal construction. This one also, it's metal. It's not plastic. Like there's plastic bits to it, but this is metal. Hooray, I like when my microphones are made of metal. So if this thing is still sounds exactly the same in 10 years and can take the kind of beating that the SM7B can, heck, I'll, I, I'll give it a triple recommendation. I, we, we won't know till, till then, though. So I don't know. If you like how it sounds, 
seems worth it. If you need a USB microphone, this and the Yeti both seem pretty good. One person talking versus the Yeti if you want to catch like a group of people talking. Or if you want to just you sing into a microphone without having to mess around with as much soundproofing, why not? I'm, I've been pleasantly surprised. I look forward to using this more in the future. And hey, thanks for watching. <laughs> well, hi, everyone. I found another test to do with this mic, which is talking quietly late at night while other people in your house are asleep. See, I thought this video was going to come out to like five, ten minutes or something by the time I edited it down, but it's, it is 20 plus minutes long. So I am doing a credit sequence for my patrons. My patrons are the only people who uh, consistently make sure I don't have to worry about rent. They support me. They keep me going through the hardest of times. Ali Kuja, thank you so much. Matthew B. Glasson, a very, very bear. Ruth, Blade or Mexican Wolf. X, I've heard that they are from the future. Oh, so no, my window is going crazy. We have Benny, Blue Gray Fox, Phalanxia, Theron, Blue Alien Fox, Shripe, Dragor, Grace Jane Gall, Prickly Bear, <laughs> Omega Lacona, Martin RJ, Muse the Husky, The Armored Wolf, Pandora, Fuzz Wolf, Omega Dragon, Ruby Red Mane, Fancy Fox, Beaten, The Dragacho, Dan P. Jared Hinsey, Cyphodius, Vulpi, Serathin, Krista McKenzie, Mama T, Angus, L, Vermi Fox, Wheelie, Petrov Neutrino, Unknown Furry, Tim Coffee, Mabois, Thor, Pupsins, Pony Sharp, Hentai Filiac, NX the Fox, if you guys want to hear your name said in a sultry tone late at night, join my Patreon. Uh, for only a dollar, you still get to hear like all the songs I've done in the last, jeez, couple of years. They, they are not out on any CDs or anything. The only way you can hear them is by being a patron. So do it. <laughs> or don't. Just listen to my stuff for free on streaming. That also gives me money. Goodbye.